Oh, this is just the beginning as well. Uh, I'm going to do the mast and everything. The plan is to sail this catamaran this uh, summer, so. So now I'm going to mill some more parts that's going to make up the main beam or the spine of the Drake Moran. I'm just using a scissor to release the parts from the plywood sheet. This is going to be the tail and uh, this will also hold the Traveler later. This is a bit funny, I'm laying it out on the floor to get a sense of how it's going to look. However, it's, uh, the head is upside down. And later you're going to see that I'm going to put the tail on the right side, or the right way. And then I'm going to change my mind because I see the head is on the other side. So. But uh, that is actually the correct way, and I'm now messing it up, so well done. So this is the same deal as before, I'm just going to try to uh, fasten these parts together temporarily. So I can then uh, get a sense of how it's going to come together on the build. film the part where I actually realized that I had done it upside down so but as you can see here now I have switched the parts around so now they are in the correct orientation.
this back piece is probably going to be the other way around. So these two are going to be in the middle going all the way. This one on the outside is going to stop around here somewhere I think. Otherwise it's looking pretty cool. This is going to be the mass step. It's going to be a hinge at this point. And it's the same thing here. I'm probably going to bring these two pieces outwards leaving a gap in the middle so there's plenty of room both sides so I'm just going to sandwich together these different pieces and make sure the joints are not at the same place so other pieces that I made later is going to either be further back or further forward so they don't join at the same spot making it way more stable and strong Getting out some more parts that's going to be in between uh, the spacers, you could call it. But I'm making some more parts for the Drake head as well. plan to try to put some lights into the eyes of the drake but we'll see how that turns out. This is for, from the first milling when it failed. There wasn't enough space for the vectors to be milled out properly. So I had to turn it around and change some stuff. I think it's gonna be fine anyway. This is going to be glued and I can cover cover this with uh, epoxy and glass fiber most likely. Anyway <coughs> You can see it better now on these two pieces. This is the old mill mill line that failed, and on these ones they're fine. But I had to turn around the the sheet to get a clean clean line. Otherwise, it would have been. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have worked out as, I, as I'd like it to. Anyway, and I said earlier that I was going to switch these ones to the middle, but I think I'm going to keep it like this. These plates, these thin ones, are going to go away. So this is going to be flat against these sides. 
and this is just going to get clamped and glued together. I might put something on top and bottom to close it off. I kind of like the the curve it gives it. Something like that. So I'm going to remove the temporary 4mm plywood pieces now and I'm going to screw them together with the other uh, with the other pieces instead. Uh, not entirely sure if I can do that right now or if I need to mill out some more pieces but I'm gonna try at least. So this is just going to be temporary. I need to mill more of these pieces and there's a different kind as well that's going to be on the outside. Uh, so these, this is going to be the outside pieces. There's going to be four pieces that's, that has this height. And that is going to be how it fits together and later the mast is going to go down here and there's going to be a pivot point here but for now I'm just going to temporarily switch these out so I can see how it looks Terrible. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. This is coming apart again fairly soon. So, as I said, super sloppy construction right now, but this is temporary. These two pieces, it's going to be two more, so it's going to be too wide of this, uh, yeah, I guess it's half inch, 12 millimeter plywood. And it's going to be two more of this kind of piece instead of this. So this is going away, so this is going to be all the way to the other side. And these ones are going to go away as well, so it's going to look way better when it's done. I'm kind of tired now, so I'm gonna honestly, I've left too much spacing left here, I think.
probably going to put four millimeter pieces only here to pick up this slack. That's too much. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. The dragon head has all its pieces now as well. It's pretty solid. Kinda of janky right now. Missing pieces and all that. Oh, this is just the beginning as well. Uh, I'm going to do the mast and everything. The plan is to sail this catamaran this uh, summer so I added one more piece to the tail part here to make it a bit stronger this is how it's going to be get fastened into the pontoons later so this part is going to be glued into the beam and then just bolted down It's the same thing here in the front. I got all the pieces now. I think I'm gonna shape these so they look a, look a bit more. I don't know. Pretty, maybe. So they look better. I think as well that I'm going to make some holes in the side so water can escape. So it's going to be on all sides. There's going to be a a cutout. I think that that just makes sense. But this is it for the second episode. I think I might actually start glassing the pontoons in the next episode just to get that process going. I would like to just get everything in the water at some point and see how, how it sits in the water and so on. Get a feel for how it's going to work out. So yeah, thanks for watching.